Hey guys, Woods Farm here. Just going to do a review on the uh, Mastercraft uh, Gravity Feed Spray Gun. Um, as always, I never buy any tools at uh, Canadian Tire at full price because everything goes on sale. So I seen this, uh, it went on sale for 50% uh, off. Um, so it was uh, $45. And uh, I, that seemed like a pretty good price to me. And I have a painting project coming up, so I thought it was a good time to grab one of these. My compressor should handle this. Uh, it's rated for 4.0 CFM at 90 PSI. Um, so my compressor does around 5.5, and it's at least a three horse. So it should uh, handle this gun. I don't know much about painting, so this will be an interesting review. Um, kind of good for if you're looking at doing your first kind of painting project. Uh, I believe the four point, the 1.4 millimeter nozzle is kind of like a mid-range or a, kind of a general purpose size. Um, so hopefully that will be okay for the primer and the paint that I'm using. So I generally like to use a product for a certain amount of time before I do, re do a review on it, but uh, things like this, for me in my shop, I'm only going to use a tool like this once in a blue moon, so um, for the purposes of a review, I'm going to do kind of an unboxing and then uh, I'm going to do some video on the painting of the project I'm working on, and at the end of that, uh, we'll see how everything turns out. get a little toolkit. I think that's kind of the bare minimum of what you need. Um, there's better uh, cleaning brushes that you can get so I'll probably get a set of those. Instructions. Um, normally I do not read instructions for tools from Canadian Tire but in this case I don't know much about painting. So I'll probably actually take a look at these. Obviously I'll be doing a lot of uh, YouTube um, tutorials just to get an idea of kind of the painting. There's your uh, painting, uh, I guess, cup. It's a gravity feed. I think it's uh, 0.6 liters that it holds. And there's the gun. I don't think there's really a lot of difference in the design of these, at least the lower end ones anyways. They all look about the same to me. I was looking at Princess Auto. They've got some there as well in roughly the same uh, price point. Uh, but like I said, this one came on sale, so I grabbed it. Okay, just getting ready to paint and uh, setting everything up. I want to make sure everything's ready to go. Um, don't have to be searching for stuff and supplies. I bought this paint holder for the spray gun. It holds the spray gun and it has an attachment on the top which allows you to put the uh, filters in. So when you're filling up the cup, it makes it nice and easy. I've got to install this regulator, but this is a regulator that goes right on the base of the gun, so you can actually regulate the pressure at the gun. Got some cleaning supplies. I got to install these filters. This, these are water filters, or moisture filter for the uh, compressor. Watched a lot of videos, and uh, you want a regulator. You got to buy this separately, but you want a regulator right at the end of the gun there, where you control control the pressure a little more accurately. The instructions for the that came with this gun are a little crappy. They don't actually give you a pressure at the gun. I know watching other YouTube tutorials, you get uh, usually, uh, I guess, higher end guns give you a rating, you know, 25, 30, 35 pounds at the gun. And this one was 40 at the compressor. 
So I think I've set around 30, and it's you would just slide. Okay, that's my review for the Mastercraft Gravity Feed Spray Gun. Um, did a really good job at painting the uh, car that I was working on. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. It worked well with the compressor I had. Um, not the biggest compressor, and that was one of the concerns. Um, I think the main thing you have to keep in mind is uh, a regulator right at the gun. Um, you can get these at Canadian Tire, Princess Auto, wherever. Um, get that and uh, the other thing is just make sure you keep it really clean um, especially after use you got to clean this thing meticulously to store it and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited to have it and I'm going to be able to use it for future projects um, down the road so I would definitely recommend this uh, spray gun at the sale price I think it's a good deal um, again if you're going to be doing you know a lot of high-end painting or obviously if you're you know painting on an industrial sort of commercial scale obviously this isn't going to work for you but for homeowner use i think it's just fine and i wouldn't hesitate to buy a second one um, if i needed to anyways as always thanks for watching and uh, definitely like and subscribe especially if you want to see more mastercraft uh, tool reviews i'm going to be doing a lot more uh, coming up in the future and uh, I've got some other uh, fabricating videos coming down as well. So, as always, thanks for watching.